Hey crafty friends, I'm Janine and if you're new welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel for project life process videos as well as other stories that I'm sharing here on my channel. And also if you like this video give it a thumbs up and I'd also love to read your comments. So July also seems so long ago. Um, I have my photos in my pockets already in my 9 by 12 album here and I'm looking for journaling cards to add to the photos. Um, usually with my monthly project life I use um, the Story Kids by the Month by Ali Edwards but in this case, as you can see, I'm going through my stash of journaling cards to find titles for my photos here, as that's what I'm planning to do. So I'm going through my 3x4 cards and my 4x6 cards to see if there are any cards that have a nice title that I can use. Because sometimes, I have to admit, I don't like the cards or I don't know how to use them, but you can always cut them up and use parts. Yeah, use only parts of the cards. So here I'm cutting off the title around here from that 4x6 journaling card and also the bottom text of that 4x6 cards. So my cats are also checking out what I'm doing. They are very nosy, very interested in my project life. Um, yeah, I've been only, yeah, I've only had the cats for five months now, so they're, they're still babies and very, very nosy. So, putting everything into place here and looking for some more journaling, um, no, not journaling but spots, but titles or journaling cards that I can use. So, I'm going through my stash of kits. Um, whenever I get my Ellie Edwards um, subscription kits, I subscribe to, to, um, the story kit and to the story by the month as well as the story stamp. Um, I put the kids into these colorful boxes here and they fit perfectly and I just label them. So whenever I'm finished with the kit I just put everything into my stash. Um, so I empty out the boxes and make room for new kits. So, currently I'm going through the laugh kit as I'm looking for um, something to go with the photo of my son, where you can see his, his behind. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just a funny photo. He had, um, yeah, he had to, had to pee and it was raining outside so he took an umbrella, just dropped his pants and, uh, let nature do its thing. So I've also took two cards from the Strong Kit. Um, strong Kit, of course. Um, as the pictures in the middle on the right side, they um, yeah are about my hospitalization. I had um, a surgery in July and so that is documenting that story because you know there's not always happy happy and and yeah, happy stories there's also some stories of sorrow so these need to be documented as well because they are they are part of life So going through the connect kit here and next up is the action kit. 
again I've used a lot of the action kit already and I think I'm about to give a couple of pieces away and yeah my kittens again there's just one I think it's it's Cody it's the boy sometimes I still I still mix them up if they're not next to each other because they do look alike even though he's much taller than um, my female kitten so I'm adhering the titles to the photos and just cutting off anything that's going over the edge of the photo so it fits nicely into the pocket yeah, nosy kitten again. Yes, I'm doing it correctly. Don't worry, kitten. So I just don't want him to get cut by my scissors because he's so nosy. So they need a lot of love. They do come um, for snuggles. and Yeah, that's very, very sweet, though. trimming off the text piece I want to use here and adhering that down as well. Yeah, sometimes I use my scissors to trim off things and sometimes I use um, my six inch trimmer from Tonic Studios. So July was when we were off school, summer holidays, and we didn't go on holiday until the end of July. I'm documenting that in a different album so I will have a video for that up later as I'm still working on that album. So just adding bits and pieces to journaling cards, to photos, just really making, making use of the journaling cards. Um, I'm not doing a lot of journaling this month. I only have two spots for journaling. One is right on the left side next to the photo of one of our kittens that we visited back in uh, July. And you can already see the journaling card right next to it. And I'm also going to add a journaling card behind the photo of me which tells um, yeah the story of my my surgery so picking out some chipboards from the kid to put on some photos and I'm almost finished here only I only need to add the journaling and the chipboards and then I'm almost done so this journaling card has around here at the top and the numbers one um, through five and I'm just adding short little stories about um, the photos so there you go. I don't know if you can hear my cats in the background, but they are going crazy again, running around, chasing each other. It's driving me nuts. So I like chipboard to go off um, 
to go offside so I, I just like to do that and then just cut off whatever is going over the photo and next up I'm just trimming down that journaling card so that it is more like a tag and goes behind the photo of me. So I'm using both sides of the journaling card to tell a story of my surgery. I just had a lot to say so also because it's um, you know tucked behind um, that photo I can write on both sides because I'm going to add something from the other side. August, that is. So, the surgery did go well. It was my, my first ever real surgery. I'm 40, so I guess I've been lucky. Um, I have Crohn's disease, so I guess I'm very, very lucky. Got a knock on wood um, so that it stays that way. I'm going in for a checkup in December, so cross your fingers and toes that everything goes well. At the top of the journaling card, I'm going to add um, an Avery index tab. Um, I'm going to use the smallest size, the one inch one, and I'm only adding um, yeah, the date stamp to it. So last chipboard piece that needs to be added here, and then I'm going to add the Aver Index tab, and then my July, um, yeah, the month of July is done and in my album, and I'm really happy about it. So just getting out my rolling date stamp and I think some stays on ink. And I'm also using the little paper um, strips that come with it with the index tabs that you put inside of the index tab. So luckily I have different sizes of rolling date stamps so um, I used a smaller one that fit on that um, paper strip right there. So this was July all done. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this um, video and if you want to watch more of my videos go check out my YouTube channel subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos. Until then stay healthy.